Hi there, welcome to The Motley Crew, and this is a Mono Motley production called Sign Up Slaps. And it features a first time appearance by Scott. Uh, Scott doesn't get on the, uh, on the fleet as often as he'd like, and I know he's grinding this General Sinop quarters. to get the bloody Vostok. So he's spawned on the A spawn uh, on Riposte, together with an Anchorage and a Lightning. And while the Anchorage and Scott are pushing towards the A-cap, as you can hear, the Lightning's pushing towards B. So they call and say, come on, we want you back with us. That's the old adage is very true in World of Warships. You go for the uh, cap that you spawn on. Okay, looks like Lightning as a change of heart and he's pushing round. And we can already see red team battleships pushing in towards the A cap. There's a Turpitz B there. Of course, they're waiting for the, the destroyer to spot for them. And looks like the red team have already got a destroyer in the A cap. They're starting to turn it. Yeah. You can spot the destroyer. I think the Anchorage may have picked that up. Target. It's a Caprice. Shots on by Scott. Unfortunately, I think the Caprice starts to move off just as he takes his shot. And immediately the red team carrier is taking an interest in Scott. He's going to be plagued a bit by that carrier for most of the game. The anchorage uh, that spawned with Scott is really hammering that caprice. Meanwhile the lightning sits in the smoke screen. And there's a Leon appeared now. So it looks like the red team are pushing towards the A cap. And I suspect because the B cap is being turned by the blue team, that the red team who spawned there are also going to push round onto A. And it looks like blue team, if you look at the minimap, are also now pushing into C. Yeah, Anchorage is getting shots on that. And just had a, probably a defended on that. There's the Caprice again. Shots out by Scott. As you may have noticed from the team sheets, um, a ah, good nice kill work. by the Anchorage there. Um, the nice Sunop is a little bit potentially outmatched here. It's a tier 6 7, and there's only a couple of tier 6s in the game. Predominantly tier 7s. There we go. Turpitz is broadside to Scott. Anchorage, I think, must have taken a wallop from either the Turpitz or the Leon because she's on very low health now. She pushes out Torps and she's still banging away at the, uh, the Turpitz and the Leon. She had a good game, Anchorage. Leon is broadside as well. Shots out from Scott. Stations. Concentrate fire on the target. So Sinop is not a bad battleship. You just can't go broadside to anything, otherwise it will hurt. Attention. Reporting the target position. Concentration fire on the enemy warship. Okay, we've got uh, an anchorage. I think that's a Benson. Yeah, Benson there. I suspect they come over from B Cap. Scott's lining up a shot. Anchorage is broadside. Shots out. And I think the blue team destroyer may have pushed through B and is starting to potentially harass the red team uh, on the northern side of B. 
Meanwhile, that turpit is on very low health. Yeah, there she goes. Good kill by the anchorage. That's the blue team anchorage, obviously. Meanwhile, the red team anchorage is about to receive some love from Scott. Shots out. While the Leon is pushing all the way around. Potentially making itself a little bit irrelevant to the game. But she is broadside to Scott. And arguably she could be a threat on that flank. But both Anchorage and Scott start to engage. I suspect that fire came from the red team Anchorage. Which is off Scott's starboard beam. Team has taken the lead. Yeah, as you can see, the blue team are starting to overpower the red team a little bit now. Requesting fire on the designated target. They're 200 points in the lead and a ship up in the kill stakes. And the carrier's back for a bit more love. Actually, to be fair, the red team carrier, which I think is a passable, had a very good game. Shots on the Leon. Oh, that was a big slap. Yeah, more shots from Anchorage behind him. And as I said, the carrier oh, is up, paying him lots of attention. Good kill by Scott there. The battleship destroyed. More fire from the Anchorage across the cap. On fire. Okay, Scott turns, guns come to bear, and he sets out a salvo. Bang! Nice one, Scott. Enemy cruiser destroyed. Our victory is in sight. Okay, red team are down to four ships now. I think the red team... Uh, solved, sir. Benson... Oh, no, he's just gone. Okay, I was about to say he's pushing into the B-cap. I know the blue team Cleveland has seen him off. And Scott is now pushing into cap. I won't say it's a foregone conclusion. I have seen matches won from this state by a red team, but I think we know where we're going here. Okay, as I said, he's pushing in now to start capping. You can see from the mini map, red team ships are way out now. Uh, oh, but he picks up the red team carrier passable. Time for a bit of payback, I think. Okay, red team cruiser's gone. Scott is now engaging the passable. As is, I believe, the blue team destroyer. Well, actually, no, those are carrier torps, not destroyer torps. So it's the Parsifal and a battleship left for the red team. Parsifal manages to get that anchorage, who, as I said, had a good game. No, she's not got long left now. More shots out from Scott. And he's nearly capped as well. There you go, solo cap. Spotter returning to ship. Yeah, I think that's a final salvo. Bang, 
nice one, Scott. That's three kills. And that's the last race ship, the Alabama. Scott's getting, getting shots on. But the Alabama's not going down with that fight. She's just taken out blue team Brandenburg. But she's the centre of attention now. There's torps and gunfire coming in from all directions. More shots from Scott. Yeah, she's nearly gone now. Oh, but she gets the... Blue team Benito, and she's gone. The Loyang gets her. Ah, the good game by Scott, and I say a good a shout out to the Anchorage as well, and to the red team Parsifal. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that, and please join us for more very soon. Thank you.